Thank you for staying with us on the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is our play-by-play -play man, Marcus Walsh. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Betsy. Happy yeah. New Year Happy to you. Happy New Year to you as well. So Thank we are uh, play-by-playing basketball. We yes, are in we are. basketball season. <laughs> yes. I, I uh, saw Daniel Court. He was at the game, the girls' game on Friday, and he said, I could maybe see doing what you do for football, but basketball, no way. It's just back and forth, oh, back and so forth, fast. back and forth. It so is. So fast, but fun. That's oh, what well, makes it fun. It's a blast. Yeah. And had a blast on Friday, although the games were a little bit uh, on the lopsided yeah, side of things. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, the girls of HHCA won 62 to 21. On Friday night, the guys of Hilton Head Prep won 50 to 35 against HHCA. Girl leaders, Maya Hutchinson with 18 points, Devin Yard with 10. Courtney Campbell, though, scored 17 of the 21 points that Hilton had prep scored in the girls' game and got to 1,000 points for her career. I interviewed her, and you saw that earlier this week here on WHHI's Daily News. Um, yeah, huge, how exciting. Huge deal for her. Yeah, very Absolutely. exciting. And she is a really impressive kid, as, as you'll see if you haven't on that interview that I did with her earlier in the week. Um, on the guys' side of things, Jason Britschke, Ben Fry, and Billy Barron scored 31 of Hilton Head Prep's 50 points in the guys' game. Um, both winning teams looked absolutely tenacious and yeah. really, really good. In the guys' game, Hilton Head Prep and Hilton Head Christian Academy matched up in the state final a year ago. Oh, interesting. So... That was definitely something that we made mention of again. Sure. And they could possibly do it again in 3A. It was a region matchup, so it could happen again. HHCA girls look really, really good. Hilton Head Prep has a really good team, too. It's just they, they don't have what it takes in terms of, I think, numbers yeah. to go up against a really good HHCA team. They'll be, they'll be fine, and they'll be ready to go. The girls of HHCA, really, really good. Yeah, really. Well, very exciting uh, start to the season so far. So what's coming up? What can we expect? Uh, I know you're covering the game this week as That's well. That's right. We've got uh, May River and Hilton Head at May River this week in a 7-4A region matchup, girls and guys. Girls first, and then the guys will follow. The girls coming off a 53-31 win against St. Andrews on Saturday. There's still more stats and numbers and stuff that needs crunched, part of the reason that I'm here today. Um <laughs> And so I really think that we could possibly see a competitive matchup on, on both sides. The Hilton Head teams are really off to a little bit slow starts. Right. The girls have some injuries and other things to, to worry about. Um, the guys, though, are just trying to find their footing. Yeah. May River looks really good. They are above 500 and, and looking really good. All these teams have great coaches. All these teams have great athletes. That's one thing to keep in mind, Betsy, when you look at all of these matchups that we have week to week. And it's really a dedication and, and a thank you to the schools for making all of that happen, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And as you said, you know, maybe they're going to find their footing a little bit still early in the season. But And, and again, you know, basketball. It can change on a dime. You know? Absolutely. It is such a fast game. Right. So, And so for the rest of the season, what do you think we can look forward to? Well, we've got Hilton Head May River coming up this week. Uh, we'll, we'll see Hilton Head next week at home. It's always great to go to the nest. We'll see them against Bluffton. And then, as I talked about with Robin last week, we've got Bridges Prep and Whale Branch on February 7th. Not the 6th Tuesday night. It's the 7th on Wednesday. And I expect all of those games to be Really, really good. We're going to have more guests in the second quarter. We've instituted that. Certainly thanks to Larry, Jeremy, and Kevin for helping me out throughout the broadcast. Um, we had great guests in Daniel Court and Jerry Faulkner on Friday at Hilton Head Prep. We expect to have great guests throughout the rest of the basketball season of coverage that we give to you on WHHI Sports. And um, I, I'm looking for competitive games. Jeremiah Faber back at Whale Branch, big key. I'm really looking forward to that last matchup. Bridges Prep Whale Branch is going to be a lot of fun, as are the rest of them that we have in Hilton Head May River and in Hilton Head Bluff. Excellent. Well, Marcus, thank you so much for being here and sharing with us about the exciting season, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Sounds great. And thanks to everyone else on the show today for their insights and contributions. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And, of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.